Hi, my name is Sarah. This is my project. It is on so-and-so. And today we're going to talk about blah, 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 blah. Hi, you guys. So let's say that you have, um, you're in Google Slides and you want to insert some audio into your um, Google Slides. I'm going to show you how to do that if you're on a Chromebook. Now, one of the reasons why you can't just um, click or just type in camera at the bottom in your Chromebook and use the camera is because it does the video and it also does the um, and it does the audio. But WAPN if, like I said, if we just want the audio. So what instead what we're going to use is we're going to use this Chrome extension that's called Screencastify. It's up here. It's a thing that I'm using to record right now. I'm going to show you guys how to download this and how to use this to record your audio and then we're going to insert it into our project. So let's go. Let's do it right now. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to screencastify.com. There we go right there. So now that we're on screencastify.com, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to click the button that says add to Chrome. So we're going to get this extension. It's going to be added to our Chrome browser. So go ahead and click add to Chrome. And then it's you just want to make sure you read through this and you're going to go add extension. And then you can see now we ha it's checking it. It's going to get it. Now um, it says right here it's been added to our extension. Okay. And you can see right here um, if I go up here I actually don't see it in mine yet. Maybe yours is showing but mine's not showing. So I'm actually going to click the little puzzle piece right here. And when I do that I'm going to look down where it says screen castify. And I'm going to go over it and there's a little pin it button. So you can pin that extension. Once you pin it now you can see it. So it's right there. So now we have to activate it and you want to hook it up with your school account since this is for your school projects or whatever you're using it for. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and then you're going to need to sign in with your Google account. So I would recommend again using your school account for this so it's all saved with your schoolwork and everything in your drive for that. So go ahead and sign in with your Google. I'm going to sign in with mine. So go, so go ahead and select. Oh, I forgot. You got to also do this. So you got to go ahead and click next to set the permissions. You got to allow this. Make sure you read through that stuff that you're okay with it. Now it says we're ready to start recording with Screencastify. Okay. But like I said, you need to make sure you, you log in, you select it. For me, it's already, but anyways, you had to click like an account and then it allowed you to, um, going to get to this next part. Okay. So just select your Google account. Anyways, so now that you have it, it's up here. You can see the Screencastify. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click the little Screencastify button and we're going to start recording what you want to save for your project. So you're going to go ahead and hit record. Okay, once you click that button, then this uh, box is going to appear and you have to give it permission to um, record your screen. So you're going to go ahead and click that and then you're going to click share. And then it's going to start to time down. I would suggest closing out of that and then you say what you want to say. Hey, my name is Sarah. This is my project and we're going to talk about so-and-so. Okay, so once you're done, then you're going to hit the button up here and that's going to stop the recording. And then what's going to happen, it's just going to actually pop up. Let's push stop right down here. But anyways, it's going to pop up that recording um, on screen Castify right here. And if you actually want to hear it, you can um, scroll back right here and um, you can click and you'll actually be able to hear it because you got to click to unmute. Hey, my name is Sarah and we're going to talk about so. So now I just paused it. So if I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. You're ready for the next step. But just in case, if you're not happy, what you need to do is you need to click trash. Okay. Delete button right up here. You do not want to open an editor because when you open an editor, it doesn't allow you, you can edit it and you can delete parts of it, but then you can't save it as a, um, mp3 so again if you wanted to though you could click delete and then um, you could start over okay and if you were going to start all over you'd open a new browser you can click click up here again and you can do the recording all over again okay so anyways but i'm happy with it so i'm not going to delete it i'm not going to redo it okay and it also when you click delete it reopens your files and stuff too so you might have to close out of that like i said and open a new browser okay but let's say I'm happy with the recording. I'm like, it's good to go as I need to come up here and I need to give it a name that I'm real familiar with. So it's easy to look up. So let's put audio for project. Okay. I'm going to click on the side somewhere right here. There we go. Then I'm going to go over here where it says download and I'm going to click this button. And now I can go over here and click export audio only. So now you can see it's exporting it right here. 
Now that it's finished exporting, I want to go ahead and click download MP3. And I want to click the button that says show in folder. So right here, you can see it's in my downloads. I want to stop the video for a second. And I want to mention that if it's not in your downloads, like I show um, in just a second, if it's not there, check your recent folder, folder up here. Okay, check that one because um, it might it might be somewhere else. Okay, but anyways, but if it's in your recent folder, you can click that too. And you're going to do the same thing that you're going to see what I do um, in a second is that you need to grab that folder and you need to make sure it is in the drive or move it to the drive. Okay. But for a lot of you guys, it goes directly in your downloads, like I said. But again, if it's not, check your recent folder. Okay. You can also go over here where it says search and you can search for it, the name of it, uh, whatever we titled it, and that will find it up too. But you just need to make sure that it's in your Google Drive and where is it in your Google Drive so you can look for it later to put in the PowerPoint. Back to the video. But we need to get it to, um, I want to get it to my drive. And so um, you can actually click it and you can actually move it to your drive. See right here, it says audio for project. Um, it says one because I, I did this twice. But anyways, just ignore that. But anyway, so I put it in my drive now and you want it in your drive. And yours might have automatically saved in your drive. Anyway, so you're going to go ahead and click Google Drive now right here. Google Drive, right? And we should be able to see it in here somewhere. And if you can't find it, that's fine. Um, let's see, is it in Screencastify? Yeah, it's in here. And if not, we can look for it just by the name of it as well. So anyways, okay, so now we know it's in our drive because that's where we need it to be. So you can go to your um, your PowerPoint right here and you can go ahead and we can click um, insert audio and um, you can go ahead and type for it because now it's in my drive, right? So obviously you guys can see it, but in case you didn't see it, you want to click audio projects right here, right? We'll click that and it would pull it up for whatever you name it. So we're going to go ahead and click select. You want to insert that. Now it's putting it in there and you can push play to hear it. Hi, my name is Sarah. This is my project. Now um, you can change some of the settings over here where it can start when they click it. OK, or um, you can make it where it starts automatically like just right when they um, start presenting it, it plays. So you get to decide that. You can change the volume. You can hide the icon. So if I click this button, then when I hit present, I won't even see this. And maybe I have it selected where it automatically starts playing. Anyways, or you can loop the audio. Maybe you have something that you want it to keep repeating and repeating and repeating. Anyways, um, and you can also stop on slide change. So you got a lot of features that you can pick. Now, the other thing I would suggest is making sure that your audio is um, shared. So um, anyone that has it can hear it because sometimes if you share it with it, like anyone else or your teacher, it might not play because you don't have it shared. So um, I'm going to click and open up a new browser. I'm going to go over here to my Google apps. I'm going to look for it in my drive. And so like, let's say again, if I didn't remember or I don't know where I put it or whatever, you can even go to your recent and you should be able to find it there too. Like right here, audio for project. Okay, let's say if this is the one. So then what you want to do is um, you're going to double click on it. Hi, my name is Sarah. Yeah, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's it. I can go over here up to these three little dots and click the share button. And I can change the settings of how I share it. So you see right here, it says restricted, only people added can open with this link. I want to change that to anyone with the link, okay? So now anyone on the internet with this link can view. So that's the last thing I would check. And I'd click done. And so now I shouldn't have any problem sharing it. And anyways, and so like I said, so now you got a lot of options, but I hope that was helpful. Hi, my name is Sarah. This is my project. It is on so-and-so. And today we're going to talk about blah, 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 blah. Other than that, thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. Have a good day.